Veteran Salute is sponsored by the Devon James Injury Lawyers. 20 years ago, the Navy changed how they trained sailors after terrorists hit a Navy ship in Yemen and took 17 lives. Glenn Bevel and photojournalist Nick Kiefer show us the branch is now preparing recruits to help the wounded and keep a ship afloat. Ken Bauer signed up for the Navy to see the world and he did just that before a day that forever changed his and many other sailors' lives. We were like the main heart and soul of the ship. Navy veteran Ken Bauer was a gas turbine specialist. You know, here's the USS Cole and I'm meeting it for the first time. His job was to keep the ship moving and to ensure there was always electricity. He'd only been on board for a little over a month when... I had a massive, horrible feeling in the pit of my gut. That's how he felt when the ship pulled into Yemen. Like I could sense the evil in the place. He expressed those feelings to his chief. He's like, well... You know, Yemen's no, well known for their terrorism. On October 12, 2000, Bauer was standing watch when he was relieved early. And the terrorists came out from over here somewhere. His replacement saw the boat approaching. He said that they waved to him, he waved back. They slewed him, he slewed back. And just thought it was like one of the friendly locals. The boat was loaded with a makeshift torpedo. They used 2,000 pounds of C4 to try to kill everybody on board. Everyone was hurt in some way. It launched me like I was, like I was nothing, like just like you're throwing a ball. The blast knocked him out, and he suffered a traumatic brain injury. He also hurt his back and ankle. He says 39 sailors were injured badly. It lifted his ship up out of the water. He says he had just talked to one of his buddies that very day. I didn't know that would be the last time I ever talked to him. 17 sailors died in the attack. And this is my rack. This is where I was standing. Bauer narrowly escaped with his life. If I would stay there. We wouldn't be having this conversation right now. This is the birthing area he was in when the attack happened. That was probably five minutes before standing right there in the chow line. And you could actually stand in the chow line and look outside. And the watch he was on before he was relieved. This is where I was actually sitting right here 35 minutes before watching a pipe that used to be right here. Just before that. And 30 minutes before around here talking with Petty Officer. He says they spent four days fighting for the ship. Everybody pulled together, everybody did what we're supposed to do. He says it all started out with a bucket brigade. This looked like a waterfall coming in. The ocean came gushing in. Trying to save the severely injured and trying to save the ship at the same time. To give you an idea of just how large of a hole the blast caused, look closely at the tiny specks in this picture. Those are men. 60 feet from top to bottom, 40 feet from left to right, and 30 feet in. Bauer says they had to get creative. They were standing in water, and to get all this water out. I came up with the idea, let's knock a hole through the bulkhead right here. The sailors slept on the flight deck for days. They didn't have any food or water and no electricity. We were dead on water. We're in this hot spot. Old Glory continually flew on the ship's mast, and the Marine flag was added in the days that followed. United States Marine Corps Hard Rock Cafe in Yemen. Bauer says other than a little humor. Ready for someone to sneeze wrong, and all hell would have broke loose. The Marines were there for security, while the sailors prepared the ship for the long voyage home. I was, like, so honored that they actually picked me. Bauer was the one in the control center the day they restarted the engines. Saying, <laughs> Can't get us suckers. That was the message that rang out from the coal as patriotic music blared and the destroyer was towed from the port. Just felt so humbled and honored that we picked his music. He wound up doing a benefit concert for us. Here's Bauer with Kid Rock, who found out about the sailors' final song choice and was honored to meet the crew. That's as much history as you can actually hold right in your hand. Bauer says it's all thanks to a stranger. One of the shipyard workers there decided you know, let's stamp this out and give this to the crew. He cherishes this. This is an actual piece of the bombing area. Parts of the ship are also melted down into the USS Cole Memorial, a place Bauer and the other crew members can gather to remember the fallen from that fateful day, as well as their efforts that helped finally bring the ship home. Bauer now works with Midwest Battle Buddies, and his dog was the very first to be trained. He's proud to say they now have 45 veterans in that program. Between the injuries he suffered 21 years ago and the PTSD that followed, he says this organization has helped him get his life back. Here for you, Gwen Bevel, KSN News 3. The Devon James Injury Lawyer is here with our Veteran of the Week, and that's GSE 3 Ken Bauer and a service dog, Kino. Ken faithfully served our country in the United States Navy during Operation Enduring Freedom and Operation Iraqi Freedom. 
On behalf of all of Kansas, thank you for your service. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Veteran Salute is sponsored by the Devon James Injury Lawyers.